During the week, we talked about two ways you can make profit using Changely and the type of Nigerian cards that work here. Now, lots of people have already started making profit and we have a lot of proofs to that. But some people have already said they don't understand and we should um, try to remake this class again. So today, I'm going to quickly run through it. Okay. Now, once you've registered on Changely, it is very, very easy. And I'm going to tell you how to pay with your card. Now, first things first, after you've registered, quickly click on buy all right it is the same interface as when you're using the app or you're using the site now if you're using a dollar card leave your currency in dollars no need to change it to any other currency if you change it to any other currency you might not be able to make payment but if you want to pay with a nigerian card if you're watching from outside nigeria please you can actually uh, change your currency here now i'm just going to type in ngn if you're if you're going to pay with a kenya shilling card uh, you can actually type in KES. It works mostly in the Kenyan uh, area. Okay, a lot of people there use this changely. Now, you can now select the amount you want to start with. Now, you can start with around 17,000 Naira or let's just use 100,000 Naira. As you know, the more uh, capital you have, the more profit you will make. So, I want to pay 100,000 Naira, but then I want to buy USDT. Now, there's something you have to know people have been asking what kind of usdt did i use now if you come here there are so many types of usdt like for example if you type usdt over here you can find that there are, there's usdt trc20 this is where i typed usdt there's usdt omni trc20 usdt usdc and erc20 and in the last class i mentioned that many of them here will not make you profit i specifically told you the ones that will make you profit for example, if you select TRC20, you find that 100,000 Naira gives you 73.51, uh, 73 which is not profitable for you. In fact, let's check out the calculations. So on your calculator, you type in 100,000 Naira and you divide it by 73.51. You see that you are paying for one USDT at um, 1,360. And apart from that, the amount of fees you use to transfer this USDT to Binance for sale can be around 50 something USDT. So, in other words, you're not even getting 73 USDT, you're going to be getting around 25 USDT because you're going to pay over 53 USDT as your transaction fees instead of just one USDT. Now, what kind of USDT did I use or have we been using? This is exactly what I told you. So, if you want to get the exact amount, uh, type of USDT. I touched here and I selected USDC, not USDT, USDC. Okay, now when you type in USDC, you select the BEP20. Okay, this is the BEP20. Now, I'm taking my time to, to uh, show you so that you don't make a mistake. Now, on this BEP20, you're going to be getting 109.53 instead of, uh, instead of 73 or 75 USDT. So, I'm not going to go back here. You cancel this and type 109.53. You can see that your rate is now at 912 Naira per USDT, which is a lot of profit because you can buy 100 at 91,299 Naira, go on Binance and maybe sell it for 113 Naira or 114 Naira if you want. For example, you want to try this out and you can see that the rate is 912 Naira. Uh, you can buy 100, okay? 100 USDT for 91,299. Let's check out how much you can potentially sell it on Binance. So, forgive me if I'm being too quick. That is because we've talked about it. So, I don't want to waste too much time. I'm just trying to repeat it so that people who did not get it properly would actually understand it well. Now, the next thing is for you to click on USDT. But before you come here, I mentioned something. And I think maybe that's why people get it wrong. Remember, we are selling USDC and you, we bought USDC, but we are selling USDT. Come to the market area on Binance. Let me come to the home, come to the market. When you come to market, come to this upper place, reaching as such for pairs. Okay, here. Once you are here, just type in USDC because that is that is uh, that is how you exchange the coin. USDC. 
this is where you can exchange usdc to usdt please this is exactly what where you can do it okay when you have done that just click on sell you'll be selling your usdc you'll be selling your usdc and once you sell your usdc here let's say you bought 100 usdc you sell it and you get 99.94 okay and let's go and see how much 99.94 usdt you sell it and you get 99.94 usdt so you go to binance and you sell 99.94 usdt okay so let's just see that one to sell one usdt right now is 1151 naira okay so let's go back to our calculator to sell one usdt right now is uh 1000 1151 naira point two three okay and you're selling 99 Point. let's just put it nine four okay you can see you're making around 115,000 naira when we spent just 91,000 just call it 92,000 naira after all the tra all, all the charges so you see you're making 23,000 naira good profit on this arbitrage now i'm going to talk about the kind of cards that work here but before we do that let me talk, let me show you the second method we you are using to make profit here also so talking about the second method it is to change this area to you uh to btc okay now before that there are other um something like you can even buy die in fact okay if you want to buy die i think die works okay i don't know the, the prices can change okay that is 103 so it is not as profitable as it used to be before but die will still make you some little profit but the second method is to buy you uh, btc okay so I'm not going to click on BTC right now. I've not tried for Ethereum, but BTC, USDT is what I've tried. Now, 100,000 naira worth of BTC will give you 0 0.00279. So what you just have to do is to go and check out the rates on Binance. So you copy it and let's go check out how much this will, how much you can sell this on Binance. Because immediately you have paid 100,000 naira worth of um, uh, naira, you will be able to get 0 0.00279. So let's go straight to Binance to check it out. Alright, so I'm just going to open my Binance app right now. And let's see for ourselves. So our Binance app is already opened. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go to click on sell and change this to BTC. Okay. So don't forget 0 0.00279. So first, of, first things first, if you want to buy in bulk, okay, if you want to buy in bulk, you can see you can buy you can buy hundred hundred thousand naira worth into two million naira and you come here to sell okay this is for those people who like bulk order which you just go and type 0 0.00279 and the what you bought for what you bought for hundred thousand naira you'll be able to sell it for one hundred and twenty one thousand naira okay but if you want if you just want to do your hundred thousand naira arbitrage you don't have a large amount of capital just come to this search bar search space type in your 4000 naira okay i'm being very fast right now now when you type in 4000 you see people who are going to buy your 100k worth of btc you click on this place to sell now when you click on this place to sell 0 0.00279 you have 120000 naira instead of uh what you use 100000 naira so you're making 20000 naira pure profit guys and it's a lot of money if you ask me now coming to what cards would work on this uh platform now this is changely and the first thing you have to do is to check out your profit potential if you can make profit now once you find out that yes you can make profit the next thing you have to check out is if the site is legit and of course the site is legit you can go check it out we have used it a lot of times with different 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 cards now if you want to get the app on play store okay you can actually get the app on play store and this is where you can click on your you can also get it when you download it manually now the kind of um card that work here a lot of nigerian card will work if you have changed that place to naira now we got a report that wema is working over here okay you can use your wema um your wema alert card is going to work here now your uba i've not i did not see prepaid card though i think your uba normal card is going to work now you just have to tell your bank to activate your card for online transactions the limit is only 500 uh, dollar per month so it means that you can only do this four times because there will be charges so there will be little charges of maybe like 0 0.1 dollar so 
it's going to impact and you can only do this four times in a month remaining fifty dollars or in fact you can do this or you can do hundred dollar four times they can do fifty dollar once or fifty or twenty dollar three times okay in a month you, until the on, once you have exhausted this whole limit you cannot do it again until the next month if you have slice card make sure that you're using your usd option okay there are other there are many other um virtual card that's going to work that we've not tried so you can actually try this we don't know everything we can only talk about what we have used and what is working secondly please if you are making the mistake of going to this exchange area avoid it because there's no way you can make profits here we have tried the exchange in fact this is what we tried in the first instance and there was no profit if you're also trying to sell here you cannot make any profit if you're also going to use the DeFi, you cannot make, it's just going to help you change and sell at the rate if you are buying and selling here you are not going to be making profit because you are buying here at a good price now you are selling here you are paying more fees to them all right you are, you are, you are um you are paying more fees to them which means you're not going to make any single profit so buying and sending to other cryptos this is where profit uh, comes in and don't forget that they support a lot of amazing payment options that works online and this app platforms that we've used repeatedly this will be the end of this class guys so don't forget that you should follow the exact steps i've mentioned in this video in case you missed that class or in case you weren't uh you weren't satisfied with how to practice it there you can try out your card or if it doesn't work you can go to your bank to use any of the selected cards i've actually mentioned that will be the end of this class guys and i'll be seeing you on the next one have a very wonderful and bright day